Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about green tea. What is it? What is its role in health? And what is its role in cancer care? Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content, so there's always something new to watch. And just a reminder that you can go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. So what is green tea? Green tea is actually from the same plant as black tea and white tea. It's just less processed. It's unoxidized and undergoes much less processing. So it retains the green color of the plant and it's got a brighter, sort of grassier flavor, if you will. It doesn't have that same rich flavor as does black tea or, and it's not quite as young as white tea, which tends to be more bitter. Green tea has a lot of compounds in it that are thought to promote health. For example, there's an antioxidant, the name of which we'll put right here in the abbreviation, that may be really powerful in terms of promoting health. Antioxidants work by sort of sweeping up free radicals, if you will. Green tea also has a lot of caffeine in it, and that can help people feel more alert and more cognitively sharp though the effects can be overdone and people can actually start to skip words when they're reading, for example. So like with a lot of things, there's sort of a sweet spot for caffeine. Green tea also has polyphenols, which have antioxidant activity as well. And there may be some role in cancer prevention with both catechins, which are the compounds I mentioned a moment ago, and polyphenols. So what is the role of green tea in terms of overall health? Well, antioxidants tend to be good for cardiovascular health. So green tea may help improve cardiovascular health, which refers to your heart and blood vessels. As I mentioned, it can improve your alertness, though you want to be careful with anything that contains caffeine because after about noon or early midday, depending on your sleep schedule, it can interfere with sleep and that can kind of go the other way so you're more fatigued and you're not as mentally sharp. In terms of cancer, there's some evidence that green tea may decrease the risk of cancer development, so that would be prevention, or cancer recurrence, which is really secondary prevention. So you've heard us talk about antioxidants before, and we do not recommend antioxidants in people on chemotherapy or radiation therapy because those treatments can work through oxidation. And if you go ahead and sweep up all that, those oxidants, you might undo the effect of the cancer therapies. But after chemotherapy and radiation therapy are over, you may find that green tea can be part of your routine. And in the emerging evidence that we have now in a recent meta-analysis, it looks as though there may be a cancer prevention role for green tea. I do just wanna say is with any of these studies, People who tend to have green tea and who take the time to have a cup of tea and who read about green tea and antioxidants and cancer prevention also have a lot of other things in their favor. So they tend to have access to information and they tend to have access to other healthy foods and they tend to have more leisure time to sit and have a cup of tea and they may be better at managing stress and they may have access to health care. So a lot of studies that look at exposures like green tea, unless they're randomized studies or people are followed very closely daily, not think back to what you've had over the last year, a lot of these studies can be flawed. And they also tend to have smaller numbers of patients in them, which means that it's more difficult to get a precise estimate of the benefit. All that being said, it does not look as though green tea is harmful in any way, with the exception of perhaps the caffeine interfering with sleep. There is decaffeinated green tea processing that decaffeinates things like coffee or tea may remove some of the other compounds that are beneficial, but just recall that four cups of green tea has a lot of caffeine in it, and you may wanna swap some of that out for decaffeinated tea, green tea in particular. I hope this has been helpful to you. We get a lot of questions about 
things like green tea. Check out our other videos on what to eat and drink during breast cancer treatment and afterwards. Don't forget to subscribe and go to yerba.com for your personalized report. Thanks so much for watching.